Hello dear ones, it's, it's Alice. I am of the stars and it's October the 10th, 2015 today. Oh, I'm sitting up here in the Jemez Mountains of, of New Mexico, I think. And uh, all I can see are pine trees everywhere and the beautiful needles of the pine trees on the ground. It makes soft footing, silent footing. And a, a light breeze is blowing. It's a beautiful balmy fall day. <sighs> and here we are in the midst of incredible clearing for humankind. Incredibly beautiful clearing is, is going on. <sighs> and we humans, we're doing, we're doing what we may to facilitate the process, I have to say I'm very impressed with hum humankind. And it is a time of, of mental chaos and mental turmoil and, and confusion, just like I would imagine, imagine being, mm, imagine being a millet seed. I saw some millet on the way over here. So there was a place where they were growing millet, and I didn't even know what it was until I got out of the car and took a picture of it. Often, was it Oklahoma or Kansas? Millet growing. So you know, the thing about millet is you plant one seed, and when millet is, is a mature plant, there are all these seeds on one, one millet plant. There's all these seeds. And so, Millet is an example of fertility and fecundity and, and, and uh, feeding all of earth, you know, the prosperity of, of the hearts and souls on earth, like that, the happy, the happy growing and the happy, happy ev evolution of humankind. And so, but anyway, I was going through these fields and fields of millet seeds, and it feels to me, the energy right now, it feels to me like like a millet seed would feel if a farmer planted it in the, in the field and, uh, and then the rains came, right? Or else the irrigation system, you know, whatever it takes. The water came and, and, and softened the shell of the millet seed. And then Grace told the millet seed that it was time to sprout and grow. Yes? Imagine the turmoil there the changes taking place chemically inside of that seed, biochemically. Immense changes as, as, the, as the seed starts to sprout and bursts out of the sh hard sh shell that has been softened by the rain, yes, and begins to, to for the first time, burst through the shell of soil uh, above it and and begins to feel the sunlight and begins to photosynthesize. Wow! That's just like humankind right now. We're going through immense changes internally. Everything looks the same, right? But we're going through metamorphosis. And it's like a butterfly. It's like when a caterpillar um, becomes a, um, encased in the pupil, what's it called, the pupil shell, and, and then all these changes take place inside and, and everything gets mixed up. The whole structure of, it, of the caterpillar's body gets changed. They call that, I didn't much like the term, but they call it pupil soup. And what that means is it's just like us right now because humankind is about to burst forth into the sunlight and is about to change from something that crawls on earth to something that can fly, right? With beautiful wings that can fly. And so, these are the times. These are the times. And we do what we do. We say, yes, I'm willing to sprout. I'm willing to burst through the soil. I'm willing to feel the sun upon, upon my um, upon my green leaves, I'm willing to grow into a great millet plant 
with many seeds that can help the whole world with wisdom and light and grace. And we are saying, yes, I am that caterpillar. I am willing to experience the pupil soup so that I may become something that is far grander and far more beautiful so that I can remember the greatness that I am. <laughs> and, and we humans, we are, we are assenting. But what is actually making the change, I feel, is the divine grace, the grace of God that lights our path and carries us forward through the chaos, through the turmoil, through the sprouting of the seed, through the confusion of the pupil changes and into the greatness of our souls. God bless you all with love and light and peace and God's grace upon you. <laughs>